Hello, it's Nick. In this video, I'm going to talk about Adobe Express, which is a free online graphic editor app that allows you to design flyers, banners, logos, social media posts, and other kinds of digital assets. It's a competitor of tools like Canva and Microsoft Designer. And the reason I decided to create this video is that this tool was recently supercharged by Adobe Firefly, which is a set of AI tools that Adobe released recently. And this tool set allows to create imagery, all kinds of images from a text, and uh, text styles right from a text prompt. And to demonstrate the power of these AI features, I want to use this tool to design Instagram posts. So once we enter the tool, the first thing that we'll see is all kinds of media assets that we can create. For example, in our case, I wanna create a social media post and I can choose from different kinds of platforms. For example, I wanna choose an Instagram and choose Instagram post, which will be a square uh, imagery, static imagery. And I wanna start from a scratch. And uh, for our case, I wanna use the, this tool to design an Instagram ad for the burger shop. And the, the first thing that we need to create is this imagery of a burger. And uh, Adobe offers us a collection of a stock imagery that we can use. For example, I can search for the burger and it will show us different kind of a burgers imagery that we can use. And some of this imagery is premium, so we need to pay for it. But a lot of imagery is available for free. And uh, if we want to make something special, we can use the power of AI to design imagery using the text prompt. Let's try this. So I click text to image and I will try to describe what I want to see. And I will use a simple prompt like a burger. I'm going to choose the type of a prompt, type of imagery, it will be photo. And I will leave the style default, which is a popular. So, okay, let's generate the imagery and we will see what Adobe will generate for us. Uh, once we generate the imagery, we will see that Adobe generated a four example for us. The first one we will see in a, on a canvas, we can enlarge it. And uh, if we don't, we don't like it for some reason, we can choose other examples. For example, I like this for example better. And uh, the power of AI is used not only to generate imagery, but also style changes. For example, we can remove a background from the imagery. Let's try it. And if you watched my video about the Microsoft Designer, one of the reasons uh, I like the address is that uh, the background remover works much better. The next thing we want to do is to create a background texture for our post. In our case, I want to use the wooden table. So let's try wood, wooden table. And uh, again, Adobe offers a lot of examples uh, that we can choose from. For example, this one looks great. But if we don't like the, these examples, we can generate our own example from the prompt. So we can try text uh, prompt like a wooden table texture. And I will choose graphic. Let's generate it. Okay, let's try this one. It looks really great, I think. Okay, we can put it behind the our imagery of a burger. So this, that's, and the last thing we need to do is to create a text. And when it comes to text, Adobe offers a lot of default styles that we can use uh, without any problems, like uh, this one. It looks really great, I think, for our case. We can also play with different styles, like uh, color of the font, for example, and modify it a little bit to make it diff look different. For example, make it white to contrast well with the background. But we also can try to generate our own unique style. And this feature is called text to image. It generates a style for us. Uh, let's add a text like uh, well done and see how this feature will work for us. Uh, let's navigate to text effect and describe the effect that we want to achieve. And honestly, I want to say that uh, 
I wasn't really impressed with the quality of the uh, style effects for the text in particular, but I think this feature is better and it will improve. Let's try firing fire letters to just create a sense of a fire. Okay, now you probably see what I was talking about. The style that was generated by Adobe looks uh, a little bit odd. So I see that it resembles some properties of a fire in letters, but only, but the final result doesn't look really great. So I, right now I would say I would stick with the default styles that Adobe offer or will select some sample effects from the gallery that are suggested by the tool. And when we remove this style, what we can do next, we can basically download the imagery generated for us. And when we download, we will download the ready to use asset. So it won't have any watermarks, anything like that. So we can just uh, download the raw file and use in our design. I mean, use uh, to post it on Instagram. So that's all. Thank you.